a, a poor performance, I'd have to say, in the end, because they could have gone down 4 or 5, really, if Arsenal had the, the shooting boots on, but some of the defending was shocking. That's the Villa fans. Um, you can have your say and, and tell us what you think, because it's not looking good at the minute. You, you are struggling. You're, you're 19th. Played five, got three points, and uh, it's not it's not looking good for him, Jase. No, it's been a very tough start to the season um, for Aston Villa, and it's kind of continued from where last season ended. Actually, it, it, there's a there's a pattern that's bit, that's starting to emerge. It doesn't always happen, but what we're seeing now is that Stevie's struggling to get consistent results, performances, goals, clean sheets. They're, they're having a tough time. They really are. And if you if you think about where they are right now and the fixtures they've got coming up. I've already made the point. They've got Man City at the weekend, right? Mm. So Haaland will be looking for an, for another ball, right? No one's ever scored three hat-tricks on the spin. If there is going to be a team you want to play against right now to get your third hat-trick on the spin, Villa is right at the top of your list or certainly one of the two or three clubs. Then Villa play Leicester City. Now City, City play um, Man United tomorrow night. If they lose that, then I, He's in I, 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 yeah, I, I, I think that there will that the people start to pet that the hierarchy at Villa will start to really panic, and then they got Southampton and at home, you lose you lose their next three games. I think it's very hard to make a case that Stevie keeps his job, and not not want him sacked, but you know, we, this it's the Premier League. We we've, we've seen Scotty Parker get sacked for you know mm. for saying putting a few words out of place. And getting beat 9 0, this is a tough one, It is. Uh, have you say 03 717 But let's go to Billy, who's an Arsenal fan. All right, Billy. Hello, mate. How are you? Just you to say, Billy Boy. Just, just to say, what a game tonight, huh? Mm. I ain't seen us play like that since the unvin- Unvincibles. Unvincibles? The Unvincibles? The, unvin- the, un- the, un- the, un- <laughs> the Unconvincibles. Because <laughs> they convinced everyone tonight, Jamie. Fair, mate. Well,. Listen, oh, it, no, it's, no. It's, a, oh. it's a good result. It's a good result. Um, <laughs> we played well. We played well. You, you're playing, playing some, you're some good stuff. You're playing some good stuff. We are playing some good stuff. And I'd like Jamie to admit that for once. No, I, I, I have. I've been openly admitted. I love watching Jesus play. I think the team are playing well. Let's see how you perform over the next, you know, the next month when the fixtures have been very kind for you, I'd say, Billy. The games that you've played are all games that I'd expect you to win. And your next saying is going to be, let's see what Saliba's like up against who? Salah, someone like that? Well, no, I, no listen, I, I said at the start... He's of the... already done it. He's already done it against them. But no, I like him. I like him. Billy, I like him. Yeah. I think he's brilliant. I, like I, I think, I think, he, I, I think he's proving... He is proving to be a, a top player. But let's see. I'm not getting carried away with Arsenal, all right? You're top of the league. We're playing some good stuff. I'm not getting carried away until you play a top side. Your October fixtures, North London derby, Man City, that's not, Liverpool. That's not a top side, though, is it? Well, you, you, you got you got pumped against us last season. So, you know, let's that's let's be remindful side, when, of when, that. When we're playing Liverpool, Man City, not Tottenham, they're not a top side. Mm, well, we'll see. We'll Bill, see. Billy. Billy. Yeah, mate. Billy, you're, you're very... And I get it, and I understand it. I, you know, I've been there as a Chelsea fan. I know what it's like to be top of the table. You ain't and, then, have you? And... You're 49 before, eh? Was that? I don't know. What did you yeah. say? Only Chelsea recently, though, before you was young. Eh? <laughs> before you was young. You had a couple of beers, Bill. <laughs> listen, to... Bill, you listen, I know... <laughs> Billy, Billy. Ash Wilson, if you want to talk to him. Who's Ash Wilson? Bill, yeah, Bill. Do you want to come to him? No, no, Bill. Listen, listen, Billy. You have you keep smelts, but but Jay's got a point. Listen, it's been a brilliant start to the season, but there there are there are stiffer tests ahead, right? And oh, no. and and, and all, when all, all all jokeness aside, fair play to Jamie, but I ain't going to get too convinced about it. But I think we have been playing well. No, no, listen. So you're still the unconvincibles. Definitely <laughs> the unconvincibles. No, no, but, no, no Bill. <laughs> Billy, Billy, listen. Arsenal right now, they, they can't do any more right now. They can't do any more than what they've done, I right? I think we need one more signing. I think we need one more signing. Who do you need? Who do you need, Billy boy? I think, I think we need O'Hara to be in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> now I know you've had a few. Now I know you've had a few. Bill, thanks for your call. Let's go to Chris, who's a West Ham fan. <laughs> okay. Chris. Evening, gents. How are you? Yeah, all right, Chris. Um, what did you make of it tonight? Watch the game. Spurs were better in, in the first half, but second half, it was all West Ham. Um, yeah, well, look, I mean, I'm a very sort of humble guy. I called in a couple of weeks ago. I just wanted to um, 
as a West Ham player, just wanted to phone up and congratulate yourself, Jamie, and all the other Spurs fans on nicking a point for your cup final. <laughs> <laughs> uh, absolute daylight, daylight robbery that you got a point out of that. Um, but you did. Um, didn't deserve it. We should have got three points. And I think I've heard, uh, correct me if I'm wrong here, about 15 minutes ago, that all West Ham fans were buzzing about getting, uh, getting the point. Chris, let's off. be honest. The Very first, disrespectful. Chris, the Very. first half, you were miles off it. We played you off the park. We should have been two or three up. You had uh, Antonio had one. I think it was Antonio hit the post. Apart from that, I mean, you couldn't get the ball for us. Second half, you, 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 you changed it. You come out, you were a lot better. A lot better. Yeah, we were a lot better the, the second half. I wouldn't say that you were all over us in the first half. I mean, we had to put the ball in the back of the net for you. First thing for you to get that lead. But I think, you know, from where I was standing, you know, when I was watching the game, we thoroughly deserved to get the three points during the course of the 90 mm. minutes. And I think disagree. I think I think a point was a fair yeah, result there, Chris. I think a point's a fair we're result. We're not firing. Or, we're not firing, Tottenham. The res- the well, the we points are. we've got on the board. No, you're not. But that's why that's. But you look at it and go, our, our performances ain't been good enough, really. But look at the points we've got. They haven't. No, but they we're haven't. third they in the table, and you're fourteenth. Yeah, we might be, but we've played five games, Jamie. You know, it's a, it's a marathon, not a sprint. Mm. So we'll see how that goes. But, you know, like I say, I just want to congratulate you on making the point. <laughs> um, West Ham fans don't consider this their cup final. Let me be very clear about this. This is not our cup final. What's the cup the final? Thing about it is, what is your cup final, then? We don't have a cup final. Well, what's your cup, cup final? final? Yeah, what's your you cup two, final? What do you two know about cup finals? <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, they're the periods. It's always like a bull man. You two, Jay, two Jay, bull men fighting over a comb. That's what it's like listening well, to you What is your cup final? Cup well, what's your biggest game of the season? I, no, no, I have the brill cream. No, no, you have what's the brill cream. What's the biggest game of the You've season got... for West Ham, Chris? <laughs> it's Tottenham. It's against one of the big. It's nice it's against one of the big clubs, oh. and I don't consider Spurs one of the big clubs because I think this is the problem with Spurs fans. You say you're a big club, but when was the last time you won something? Right now, I'm a West Ham fan. We've not won anything, but we certainly don't call ourselves a big club ever. Spurs fans need to be a bit more realistic about this because you're not a big club, frankly speaking. You're not. We are. And, yeah, I think you should be. No, you're not. Where you are? When did you last win something? Was it the Carabao Cup? The Mickey Mouse Cup? I can't remember. Yeah, Carabao Cup, yeah. Yeah. But we're, yeah, we're, well, we're, but well, we're, but we're always competing. We're always competing Champions League, you Europe. Know, you, you say that. We're always there, or thereabouts. We're, we're part of the big six. That's who we are. So you can't deny it. We're a huge football club. So it is... It is. It, you, Chris, you're lying if you don't think West Ham's your biggest... If, when you play Tottenham, it's the biggest game of your season. Yeah. We like the banter. We like the banter a bit, admittedly. But for us, the biggest game is when we play the biggest clubs. The likes of the Man City, the Liverpools. So I look forward to those games. Do you know what? To beat Spurs... Of course we like it because there's a rivalry there, but we certainly don't consider it a cup final. Mm-hmm. And most West Ham fans, it's all West Ham fans will say the same thing. Um, but listen, uh, Jim, for knowing all night, right, I just wanted to do a quick shout-out to my friend, my work colleague, Mike Chan, big Liverpool fan. I think he's listening to this tonight. He's too checking to call in. So try and get Mike to call in. All right, Mark, call in. Have, a, have your say. Chris, thanks for your call, mate. Appreciate it. And keep them coming in. We want to hear from you. Some there? big, big games. Well, there, you two have no, have no... well I'm just being honest. Do you know like, what I mean? I'm being know, honest. Was like, that was like a little bit of in, the, in the playground, you know? Where you... Is, is West Ham's biggest game of the season, Tottenham? I don't know. I'm not a West Ham fan. I'm not a Spurs but, fan either. Right. So... Is it their, is it no, their biggest I, game? I, I don't know that. But you know what it's made me laugh? From... It made me laugh. You two talking about cup finals. Like, that, uh, winning cup finals. Oh, you really... Like I said, it's like two bald men fighting over a brill cream and a coat. You can talk about being bald, mate. Look at your hair. You need to stop getting trims. Uh, never on my barnet, mate. You, you yeah. need to Listen, stop. You this, you've lost this, your wingers. If, this, if, this, if, this, if my barnet was Spurs' cabinet for winning trophies, <laughs> you'd be delighted. <laughs>